information about uh, what are all the things that we do while uh, filling up a noon log on board ship. Noon log is nothing. It is uh, a simple log that uh, we have a account of how much uh, fuel oil we burn to achieve this month distance. Suppose from yesterday 12 o'clock to today 12 o'clock, how much fuel oil we burn for the main engine, for propulsion engine and for power system that is accelerator. And uh, in case if you run the steam plant, that means boiler, we account that also. So that means how much fuel oil we burn for running main engine, how much fuel oil we burn for getting power system that is auxiliary engine, how much fuel oil we burn for steam plant. So that will be accounted every noon, every 12 o'clock we will account it and we will send to the company. So uh, how uh, we account? That means uh, we will be having a fuel oil counter for main engine, for uh, generator and for boiler. So all the counter we take every noon 12 o'clock and the next day 12 o'clock again we take the counter. We calibrate like we uh, do a calculation difference between these two counters and we take the total amount of fuel we used for uh, propulsion, for power and for steam. So that is what we put in new logbook and also we will come to know how much power we produced and how much distance we made. So is that distance is uh, okay with the amount of fuel that we burn. Suppose uh, we are not getting uh, enough speed that means there may be some issue with your uh, propelling, propulsion system so we can uh, look over it. Sometimes we cannot achieve speed because of weather condition, that is usual. But uh, warm weather, we burn more fuel and we are not getting efficiency means, then there is, should be something, maybe ship fouling or propeller got uh, some issues, so all those things we have to consider. So this is the main uh, idea of filling logbook for during noon time. Some companies have uh, logbook. 8 o'clock to 8 o'clock but mostly all the companies have uh, noon log. Afternoon 12 o'clock to next afternoon 12 o'clock how much fuel we put and how much distance we achieve. That is what we can find uh, using this log. So now uh, I will uh, show how we are uh, filling the noon log. Uh, okay, so oops. okay. So now first what I do is uh, I will fill the noon logbook in system first. So this is the noon log uh, system and uh, you can see uh, date, time, position, mode, mode means uh, whether it is at port or at, uh, har or at sea, whether it is doing uh, uh, maneuvering, all those things we will enter in the mode and clock is if the weather if we are going from one place to other usually we do the advance or return so accordingly we will account the total number of hours sometime it may be 24 or sometime it may be 23 hours or sometime it may be 25 so it depends on advance and retard of clock and this is the total number of hours revolution rpm so speed slip and everything fuel used fuel oil counter so now i am going to fill that one by one so today is uh, 13 so I am going to fill that ok so no 24 hours totally SS means sea steaming and this is the counter for main engine revolution so I type the counter and here it is all automatically generated huh? So next 7650 is the counter actually achieved from noon to noon. So next will be the engine distance that will be given by uh, that you will get later. And next we go for okay. Next is uh, we are going to fill the fuel figures. So you can see a uh, H is there. That means if I use heavy fuel oil. I'll go for H. If it is uh, diesel oil, I'll go for D. 
so again i am filling the fuel oil counter now this is the counter for main engine and next is the counter for axillary engine and the next is the counter for boiler so next will be the counter for cylinder lube oil and uh, it will give you the consumption once i uh, enter the data for uh, if i enter this three data this three main engine axillary engine and boiler it will give you here you will get the consumption that is auto programmed so you can see here for main engine it consumed around 49.8 tons and generator it consumed 10.1 and boiler it consumed 0.3 and total consumption is 60.2 metric tons and uh, next is the rob this is what you call it as rob yesterday the rob is 39 39.4 so by minusing the by uh, subtracting the consumption this is 60.2 the next day noon rob is 3879.2 so this is the actual figure on board by 12 o'clock so this will be the figure that we sent to company that from since yesterday 12 o'clock to today 12 o'clock we uh, consumed this much fuel and we achieved this much distance so next is so next is you can see ls mdo if i use ls mdo like if i go for uh, european ports i have to use ls mdo so if i use that i will fill that figure in this column so again rob for that and uh, okay here this column you can see ls cylinder oil if i take any cylinder oil i have to enter here and uh, next what is that okay then you can see the cylinder oil eh? so cylinder oil how much i consume that will come here this is yesterday's uh, rob and this is today's consumption so by subtracting you will get the rob this so 60 65534 so next is rob for uh, main engine system oil it is uh, i never used i didn't used and again dg system oil also i didn't use okay so next is you can get the power as i said how much is the bhp total loops how much we have this is the instant power and average power that we achieved from the propulsion system that is we achieved 6000 484 kilowatt of instant power and average power is 6500 so this is the power calculation and uh, next you will you have to fill the running hours for main engine generator and the boiler if you have any uh, diesel oil like uh, if you have any shaft generator that also we have to add in this ship we have turbo generator so we call it as tg that running hours we add so you can see here we are adding the running hours and uh, you can get the total running hours of all the generator and main engine you can see here it is coming around 24 24 okay so tg is zero so how many generator we used since yesterday 12 to today 12 we used two generator and uh, how much power is on the generator means how much load on the generator it's 1960 then you will need to keep a record of uh, fresh water generator production so again uh, how much we produced and what is the sea water temperature and uh, all this thing we have to enter so now we got uh, all our data so next thing is so once you entered all the data you will get the engine distance engine distance is 377.6 and you have to call up bridge and ask for observed distance so observed distance is 344 and you can get the speed speed we achieved is 15.72 and observed speed is 14.33 and you can see the slip slip is 8.9% so these are all the 
things that we need to enter in noon log so now i have to enter in noon log book this is the soft copy that i maintain so now i am going to enter right in the log book so uh, what i did is i entered in uh, log book in my system and once i got whatever information from that i have to record in the log book so i am going to do that so you can see yeah, as i said earlier uh, noon report is nothing last yesterday noon 12 o'clock to today noon 12 o'clock so you can see here uh, you can see in the log book there is a column consumption data you can see yeah, last noon consumption received and remained last noon means yesterday's rob yesterday rob yeah. i have fuel oil is yeah yesterday rob is 39 39.4 and uh, i have gas oil 634.1 and main engine lube oil i have 40000 and uh, cylinder oil is 6588 and uh, generator lube oil is 6800 so this is the rob for me yesterday noon 12 o'clock so from yesterday noon to today noon how much i consumed i have to write here so the consumption i will get from here so 60.2 is my consumption so i write here 60.2 received in the sense if you had taken any bunker so i didn't take any bunker so i put dash and rob is here i'll get 38 79.2 so yesterday's noon rob and minus the consumption you will get today's rob so gas oil i didn't consume anything so consumption is zero so the same rob will carry forward 634.1 and main engine lube oil i didn't consume any lube oil so zero again it will be carry forward so for the cylinder lube oil consumption i will get it from here 354 so i consumed 3 5 4 so minus the consumption you will get 36534 so 65534 and the generator lube oil i didn't consume anything so total rob will be 6800 so once this is done so i fill finish so uh, this is how we need to uh, fill a noon log book this is these are all the information how much oil we consume how much power we achieved how much speed we uh, got how much distance we covered how much lube oil we consumed all these things have to be uh, input given as input in our our uh, system and also the noon log book so i believe this video must have given you some information about uh, how to fill noon log and how to get a rob and all what are all the things that we used to consider when we are uh, filling noon log book thanks for watching